that the first people who occupied America, the Native Americans, came here across the Bering Strait. But what if someone told you that when the Native Americans came across the Bering Strait, there were people already living here? These people had an established civilization that not only rivaled that of Egypt in its height, but is also much older. In fact, at the 1996 14th session of the United Nations Summer Conference, these people were recorded as the oldest indigenous people on earth. In the next few minutes, we'll tell you about a very old and ancient people, the first Americans, the Washita de Dudamanja. Although it is known by archaeologists, historians, and anthropologists that an old and ancient people occupied this land before the American Indian, up until recently, not much effort has been made to educate the general public of this fact. What are the Washita Moors? What's a Washita? What's a Moor? And understand, I am a Washita Moor. The Washita Moors have not gone anywhere. We've not disappeared. We're still here. It's part of American history that most people want to talk about, but beyond just American history, the Washita, we have our own history. The history of the Moors is there. It's just, it's the, it's been twisted and distorted, and it's just murky legends and the stories that kind of hide the evidence of the Washita and the Moors. The evidence of the Washita is, is very prevalent. It's just not being promoted and being taught in the education system. No one wants to talk about a race of people who were here, civilized, organized, and giant black people. The Wachita are the dark-skinned, original inhabitants of North and South America. They have been referred to as the pre-Columbian civilizations, the prehistoric mound builders, the diggers, and the ancient ones. Certified legal documents of colonial and Spanish and French explorers identified the Wachita as the ancient occupants of America. The Wachita Nation are akin to the Moors of Northwest Africa and are responsible for building the highly advanced geometric earthworks and sacred burial mounds found all over this continent. But people always ask, who are the mound builders? When did they exist? The mound builders are the indigenous original inhabitants of North and South America. The mound builders did not list in, exist in a vacuum at one time period. We have always been here and we shall always be here. Modern science teaches that all the continents on the earth were once connected in one piece of land. They call it Pangea. Um, Washita history actually says the same thing as do the scriptures. The Washita, the indigenous people of this land that we now call America, were on this land when it was connected in one piece. When this land was connected to what is now called Africa, the Washita were on this land that we call America. So the Washita do not come from anywhere. We did not come to America from someplace else. We were already here. We have always been here. Back to the time when scientists called the land Pangea, when it was one piece. So we have always been on this land. Poverty Point, located in Pioneer, Louisiana, near Monroe, is recognized as the second largest earthen pyramid in North America. This ancient site, called the Great Bird Mound by the natives, was a cultural center for the advanced temple mound pyramid civilization. Poverty Point, as it is currently called, is located in northeastern Louisiana in Washita Parish in the city of what is now called Monroe or near Monroe. Um, the Washita referred to it as the Bird Mound because there is a very large earthen mound in the shape of a bird with outstretched wings. Um, in some places it measures 70 feet high. The wingspan of the bird is 640 feet and it actually measures 710 feet from the head to the tail. At the base of the bird, at the foot, there are six concentric ridges. 
uh, composed of earth, and the Washita actually had their homes located on these ridges that at one time measured as high as five feet. In a Western education world, Public Point has been identified as the oldest community in North America. In that Poverty Point was a complete city in construction. It's um dynamics, it's um the, the civil engineering that went to design the city has been copied for thousands of years and the community is in the shape of a concentric rings, several concentric rings, and these rings are duplicated over and over again in the US Congress where the seats are laid out in the Roman Senate. If you go to most entertainment venues, a theater, there you'll find that modern day theaters that are acoustically designed are in the same formation as Poverty Point. And Poverty Point being a place that is known to be as old as, or as young as, 12 centuries before the birth of Christ. When you speak of Poverty Point, you speak of, of a time that um, was, wasn't supposed to exist. Poverty Point, um, at its height, not its beginning, but at its height, was at least a thousand years before any agriculture was supposed to have occurred in North America. So Poverty Point has served as an anomaly for years when scientists came in and archaeologists came in and argued that there's no way this could exist. The archaeologists go and do research. They, they don't even have a name for the time period that they find artifacts at Poverty Point. And what's more, at Poverty Point, not only did they find artifacts there that would date back thousand years, but they were enduring years, and that these people showed a legacy of continuous occupation at Poverty Point. In that, I mean that they would do research, and they would dig down one foot, and they might find something that was 4,000 years old. A few more inches, find something 5,000 years old. Further down, 6,000 years old. So here you have evidence of a legacy of continuous occupation. A commonly known place right here in Baton Rouge, the Indian Mounds on LSU campus, is actually a Washita site that predates Poverty Point. We know that um, history has taught us in Western culture that Indians were a group of hunter-gatherers who supposedly came across the Bering State about 12,000 years ago and inhabited North America. And um, I'm here today to tell you that the, the mounds are not the product of an Indian culture, they're the product of the indigenous people, the original mound building, pyramid building, woolly head, black people. Here today at LSU we could explore some of the common history and mythology about the origin of the original civilizations in North America. Here the sign reads, hunter-gatherers built these two mounds 5,000 years ago. It goes on to read, they are older than the great Egyptian pyramids and predate Poverty Point, long believed to have been the oldest earthen mounds in North America. So here we have evidence once again of slight contradiction, but it's good because they say they, they are pyramids and predate the Egyptian pyramids in Egypt. 